This is the Violin One tutorial for the Ukrainian folk melody arranged by Ilya Bondarenko. The Violin One part um, could be considered somewhat advanced if you play it all on the A string. But if you play it in first position, and you can play the whole thing in first position, it's quite simple. So first, let's play it in first position, and then I'll show you some cool fingerings, and I'll even show you the optional 8VA that that really um, hits this piece home in bar 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So first, let's do the first position. And I would like to show you how I marked my music because there's some timing issues to, if we want to be in sync with Ilya. And this fermata here, really what it turns out to be is three beats, one, two, three, and one. So I put three vertical hash marks before the eighth note, and that helps me to synchronize with Ilya. And then in this bar, think of that bar as having a, a three beats, a half note, and then the quarter note rest. And then carry that on down to all four violin parts. Mark whatever part you're using, or just commit it to your heart and your mind. Um, same thing down here, this measure, measure 10, 11, 12, 13, measure 13, just two beats, but in measure 14, it has the tied note, but I can't see very well, it's three beats, so you'll play a half note and then a quarter note rest, half note, quarter note rest, half note, quarter note rest, etc. At the very last measure of page one, it's the same as what I told you up here at this fermata. Three hash marks before the eighth note. One, two, three, and one. And then the measure that comes after it, think of it as a half note with a quarter note rest. Sorry, I used both sides of my paper. <laughs> okay, so little. if you think, keep that in mind, that'll help you for all four violin parts. Now, let's play it in first position. So we start with third finger D on the A string. One and two, one, two, one, two, ready and go. Here we go, one, two, three, and one, two, off. It's a simple melody. We are in the key of D minor, one flat. So you've got third finger on the A string and low one F natural on the E string. And three, third finger A on the E string. Um, those are basically almost all the notes that we use. So G natural. D, F, A, G, F, G, A. Okay, and then the next phrase starts with F. F, G, A, 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 G, D, F, A, G, F, G, D. And then the next two phrases are almost identical to that. Okay, so what this, 
Ukrainian folk melody can give you, violinistically speaking, is it's a great etude for expressive playing. It's a great etude for learning a little bit of a fuzzier tone instead of condensed, heavy, thick cutting tone. We can, there's a special timbre that you can achieve for expressive moments on the violin, on the violin, and it's lighter bow weight and more bow speed. And beginners or students are phobic about that tone because we feel like it's we're scraping across the string and not getting good tone. It's a special timbre. And if you do it right, it's, it's um, beyond words. So get further away from the bridge, lighter bow weight, and plenty of bow speed. I've heard the word ethereal attached to this special tone. Um, I use the, the word fuzzy or unfocused tone. So this is a great opportunity for you to work on that special technique. You can tilt your bow to the side of the hair so you're not using all of your hair. It's just, it's a tricky thing and it's, it is a great tool to have in your toolbox. I'll stop talking about that now. Now I'm going to teach you the fingering that Ilya Bondarenko uses in his video. So he starts in third position on the A string and he shifts, he goes, he shifts up to fifth position right there. Sorry. So that's something we'd want to work on. And he stays there until bar three. He shifts back down to third position. That's kind of hard. You could stay in fifth position if you want to and just stay there. You can stay there, it's safer. But Ilya shifts. Let me show you one more time. Ilya's fingering. Then he shifts down. Three. And he shifts back up. And he stays there, so don't move. He starts on that same F for bar eight. He shifts down in bar 10. And back up in bar 11. And then he stays for that bar where it says mezzo piano. He stays there. And the reason is because he's going to go up to the 8 VA, which I'll teach you after I finish teaching you the basic. So, since he stayed there, let's stay there. And let's continue at the forte on that third finger that we didn't move because I told you to stay there. So you're in fifth position on the high D on your D string. It's where your harmonic is. We're going to start right there and play bar 10, 11, 15. So we go bar 15. I'm going to shift here and shift back up. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll just stay in position here because it's safer. And it's softer to be up in fifth position. So really, you got to choose. Do you want to stay up in fifth position, which can be harder to make a good tone? Or do you want to take some risky shifts? You can do either one. Okay. Now let me show you the fingering for bar 15 where Ilya goes up to the gorgeous uh, 8VA. 8VA means one octave up. So we ended at the mezzo piano in fifth position. And you're going to stay there and use that as a marker for where you're going to need to get your first finger. So your third finger was there 
if you put your second finger on the E string from there, a whole step away. See, that's a half step. That's a whole step. This is kind of tricky. That gives you the spot where your first finger needs to be. And you can grind or ping. Did you hear the E or the D? Hear that? That's what you want to be on is a high D. So once you find that first finger, that first finger D relative to the note you just left, I'm going to show you the safest fingering to use. You'll play one, three, and then you'll shift up to three. Once you get there, stay there and read the notes as if you were in first position. It's exactly the same. If it looks like it's the A string, play it on the A string. If it looks like the E string, play it on the E string. It's kind of magical. So I'll show you. So I find my first finger on the D. I'm going to play one, three, three. And then I play A, A, G, three on A, one on E, three on E, two, one, two, three, two, three. And I'm going to stay there because it's easy and it's safe. We're at the piano in bar 22. Play three on A and one on E. Stay there. And that's it. It's the safest fingering for the 8VA. If you want to live riskier, you'd not cross to the A string. Instead, you'd shift down. Let me just show you that for those of you who are gluttons for risk. Play G, then shift down to one. Then play three F, and then shift to three A. And then you'd silently shift down to the one. Shift down. And shift back up. But at any time, interchangeably, feel free to just stay up there in eighth position. You could just stay in eighth position and it works beautifully as if you were reading it in first position. Let's just end this video by playing through the entire um, violin one part. Feel free to play it in first position. Feel free to do the third position like Ilya does in the beginning. Feel free to play it local octave in bar 15. Feel free to take it up the octave. Okay, let's play. One, two, go. Ready, set, go.
two, three, and one, two, rest. I'll see you in the collective play-along, or if you want to learn the other violin parts, I'll see you there.